What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Tuts Wrestling. Now a lot of fans, myself included, have been wondering recently, where's Bray Wyatt? Where is The Fiend? Why hasn't he been on WWE television? Now guys, I'm gonna tell you why today. But first we have to rewind all the way back to December 2020. TLC. Now Bray Wyatt was first initially written off television by being set on fire and burned alive by the Viper Randy Orton. Skipping forward a couple months later to Fastlane, Bray Wyatt burned Fiend, made a big return in attacking Randy, setting up a match at WrestleMania. By the time WrestleMania came around, it was time for the Fiend to make his in-ring comeback. Randy Orton stood in the ring and waited for the burned Fiend. However, the Fiend turned from burned back into normal Fiend with a new twist. It was still very confusing. I'm still very confused by it. But what was the most confusing of all of it wasn't actually Bray's appearance. It was the match itself. They went out there. They had, I think it was about a 10 minute match and the Fiend lost to one RKO, the man that takes several curb stomps, several spears, several jackhammers. He lost to one RKO after Alexa Bliss turned on him and caused him to be distracted. Now, a lot of people, including me, were very confused at the time and still are as to what that was all about. Now, it's come out today why these strange story decisions, booking decisions have happened and why Bray Wyatt isn't on TV. And it's not very good news for Fiend Bray Wyatt fans. Now, as a lot of you know, late last year, we unfortunately lost John Huber, a.k.a. Brody Lee, FKA Luke Harper from the Wyatt family. It was a very sad time. A lot of wrestlers, a lot of people loved Brody Lee. They loved John Huber. He was a fantastic man from the stories that I hear. And one of the people he was closest to was Bray Wyatt. Now, these two were on-screen brothers as part of the Wyatt family, but they were really friends in real life as well. These two were so close. And apparently, ever since John died, Bray has been really struggling mentally, uh, just coping with the loss of his friend. So Bray Wyatt is not doing very good mentally at the moment. And not just that. Apparently, when he returned, because uh, uh, he must have been facing these issues for a little while now. That's why he probably took some time off when he was the burn fiend. But apparently, when he came back at WrestleMania, Vince McMahon wasn't actually happy with the shape that Bray Wyatt was in. Which is quite crazy, because seeing him at WrestleMania, I actually thought he'd slimmed down and got into quite a good shape. But... The boss wasn't happy and uh, Bray has actually requested for some more time off. So guys, please be sure to show your support to Bray Wyatt. Tweet at him. Tell him that we're here for him because honestly, man, you know, I feel for you. I, I can't imagine what it must be like to lose someone that close to you. Uh, so, you know, we're here. Bray, we support you and uh, we'll all be there ready, waiting and cheering for when you do eventually make your comeback. But there you go, guys. You wondered why Bray Wyatt hasn't been on TV. That's the reason. I've been Joe from Joe Tots Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.